Hello, I'm Helen Bradley. Welcome to this video tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to look at some creative editing options in Lightroom using brushes and filters. Before we get started on this tutorial let's have a look and see what we are aiming for. This is the original of this image here. This is straight out of the camera and this is what we're going to achieve in our fixes. We're going to bring out some detail in the image. Now I have a second copy of the image. This is a virtual copy of that original. We're going to start in the develop module and we're going to crop the image. I'm just going to get rid of my film strip for now so that we can focus on the image itself. When I go to crop this image I discovered that there's a bird in here and it's a pigeon. It's got some nice colors in it so I'm going to leave it in the cropped version of the image. I'm also going to wipe out this extra side here. There's a little bit of darkness down the side. It's really not helping the image. So I'll click done. The first adjustment I'll do is to the basic image itself. So we're going to look at an adjustment that's going to be applied across the image. This needs to be converted to the latest process version. So I'll alt click on this icon here and it's now brought up to the 2012 process version. I'm going to increase contrast. I'm virtually going to create a faux HDR effect here by bringing highlights and whites all the way down, shadows and blacks pretty much all the way up. I'm going to increase the clarity and I'm going to increase the vibrance. And that gives me a sort of faux HDR effect as a starting point. I'm also going to increase the exposure a little bit but right now I don't want to do that all the way. I'm going to open up the tone curve adjustment here and apply a strong tone curve to the image, a strong contrast curve. And again I could adjust this manually if I wanted to to bring in some extra detail or add a little bit of extra contrast to the image. I'm actually thinking that the original strong contrast will be quite enough. So now let's go back and start bringing out individual details in the image. And the first bit I'm going to focus on is this bird here. So I want a very small size brush, no feather. I want 100% flow and I want to auto mask because I can pretty much auto mask the bird. I'm going to press the letter Z to zoom in click once to anchor this brush and then just paint over the bird. Now because I have auto mask turned on Lightroom should actually mask that bird really nicely for me. I really just want the lighter areas of the bird not the black areas. We can check the mask to see that it looks pretty okay which it just about does. I think I just want a little bit extra bits of the bird here. And once I've got those selected, can turn off the mask overlay and then apply the changes to this bird that I want to see. I want to increase the exposure a little bit. I want to increase saturation and perhaps clarity and maybe even a little bit of highlights. Just want to see that that actually is a bird there. Well, let's just take highlights down. Let's take exposure up and see if that helps a little bit maybe a bit of detail out of the shadows. But you can continue to work on that until you have what it is that you like. So I've just clicked done and now let's zoom back out of the image. I'm interested in getting a bit more detail out of the top of this column here. So I'm going to select a new radial filter which is new to Lightroom 5. I'm going to drag over the image to create it and then just position it where I want it to be. And I'm going to use this to get just a little bit more lightness into this area of the image. So I'm going to increase the exposure a bit. But as you can see, we're actually affecting the outside of this selection, not the inside. So I'm going to click to invert the mask. So now that the exposure adjustment is going to be applied inside, the area that we're working on. I want quite a big feather here. I might just bring this radial filter up a little bit. So I've got a bit more exposure in here. I might want to perhaps bring down the highlights but open up detail in the shadows, add a bit of contrast 
add a bit of clarity, maybe even add a bit of saturation, but you can fiddle with these selectors here to get what you want out of the various areas of your image that you're working on. And I'll click Done. Now we can select the adjustment brush and add other things to our image. For example, I may want to come in here with a slightly soft brush and just build back a little bit of detail in this area here where I seem to have lost it. So I'm just going to brush over that area of the image with a soft brush so that it's going to blend in nicely. And now let's just bring down the exposure a little bit. Maybe bring up the highlights, increase the contrast a bit and just see if we can get a little bit more detail back into that area of the column. Now I can click New and what I thought of doing was to add some pink or orange colour into this stone here. So I'm just going to select over the stone. I've got my mask turned on so Lightroom is automatically masking this for me. If I need to I can hold Alt as I paint over an area that has been included in the selection that I didn't want to have included in the selection. Let's turn off the mask overlay here. Let's zero out everything by Alt and clicking on Reset here. And now what I do want to do is to add a slight color to that area. So you can just hover here over the color picker to get a color to add back into that stonework there. So I've got a sort of pinky orange. I've missed out on a few bits here, but I can now just go and make sure that I've got them in that selection. It's possible for me to click New and then to apply a different color to a different area of the image. So again, I'm going to size this up and in this case, disable Auto Mask because I want to paint over this whole area. Let's just make sure that we're getting this bottom part of the column here. And then I could add a color in here. I'm going to reset these by Alt clicking on the Reset option and let's go and pick up a color to apply to this area of the image. And I'm thinking a sort of aqua blue green might be an interesting color here. It's only a very, very faint hint of color, but it's working quite nicely. And we can then adjust it. We could add a little bit more saturation, add a bit of clarity or subtract a bit of clarity so we could make it softer. Essentially what you're doing is crafting the image to look the way you want it to look. If we want to add spots of color to an image, to the image, we can do so by clicking on New and then just painting over the area where we want to add a few spots of color. We'll zero out the other options and then just go and pick up the color that we want to add to this area. Just a very, very faint tone of color here. So let's see how far we've come. This is the original image that came out of the camera and this is the image that we've managed to craft in Lightroom. It's been done using the basic panel of fixes in Lightroom as a starting point, adding a tone curve adjustment and then adding layer upon layer of these adjustments using the radial filter and the adjustment brush. But we could also have used the graduated filter had we wanted to, to add spot color and light effects to this image. I hope that you've enjoyed this video tutorial and that you'll find a use for these tools in your own image work. Look out on this YouTube channel for more of my videos on Lightroom, Photoshop, Photoshop Elements Illustrator and a whole lot more. You can also visit my website at projectwoman.com for more tips, tricks and tutorials.